Once upon a time, there was this beautiful little girl named Juliet. Juliet was an eccentric, charming girl. She wrote poems, she had acted in plays, and later became a skilled painter and sculptor. Daisy! Juliet's nickname was Daisy, and she loved life and everything around her. Daisy was educated at several boarding schools, including the Virginia Female Institute and Mademoiselle Charbonniers. She was very bright and witty. Does anybody know how to spell education? Yes, Juliet? S-C-H-O-O-L. Just kidding. E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N. Very good, Juliet. In 1886, Juliet met William Mackay Lowe, the son of a wealthy cotton merchant. My sweet Juliet, let's get married. I would love to marry you. After our marriage, we will return to my home in England. Okay. Juliet suf suffered from chronic ear infections. She lost most of her hearing in one ear because of improper treatment. At 26, she lost hearing in her other ear after a grain of good luck was thrown at her wedding lodged in her ear, puncturing the eardrum and resulting in an infection and total loss of the hearing in that ear. I'm very sorry, Juliet. There's nothing we can do. Juliet spent the next several years devoting her life to helping others in need. During the Spanish-American War, Juliet came back to America to aid in the war effort. She helped her mother organize a hospital for wounded soldiers returning from Cuba. I'm hurt. Can somebody please help me? I will. It's the right thing to do. You have a golden heart, Juliet. Why, thank you. In 1911, Juliet met Sir Robert Bain Powell, founder of the Boy Scouts and Girls Girl Guides, and became interested in the New Year's movement. Afterwards, she channeled all her considerable energies into the fledging movement. Hello, I'm Sir Baden Powell, founder of the Scouting Movement. What's the Scouting Movement? Why, it's a program for young boys to grow their physical, mental, and spiritual development so that they may play constructive roles in society. What about girls? They're important, too. Daisy became best friends with Robert Peter Pout and, be, and, and soon she became a girl guide leader in the UK. When she came home to Georgia, Julia was excited to continue the movement. Less than a year later, Daisy returned to the United States and made her historic telephone call to her distant cousin. Cousin, come on, cousin, come right over. I have something for the girls in Savannah in America, and we're going to start it tonight. On March 12, 1912, Juliet Gordon Mill graduated 18 girls and registered them as the first ever U.S. troop of the Girl Guides. The following year, they changed the name to Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts organization started to grow and grow in popularity. One of the Girl Scouts raises her hand. I have a couple friends who are interested in joining the Girl Scouts. Can I invite them along? Other groups want to take my friend. She is handicapped. Can she come also? Of course. Girl Scouts are for everyone, including girls that have different things than others. After only a couple of years of operation, money for the Girl Scouts started to dwindle. The organization was nearly on the verge of shutting down. Oh no, the Girl Scouts are out of money. What will all of those girls do? It's over, Daisy. Your dream is over. Never. I love my Girl Scouts. And we'll do whatever it takes to make sure girls everywhere in America can get encouraged and independent. Daisy believed in the Girl Scouts so deeply that when the Girl Scouts was on the peak of bankruptcy, she reached into her pockets and sold many of her most precious belongings, including her famous pearls. You're selling pearls? Of course, I should put my needs of I should put my needs before the girls, before my pers most personal desire. Because of the money Juliet got from her pearls. The Girl Scouts movement survived in the United States and became what it is today. Julia had preserved and her organization.
and they persevered in an organization grew into one of the largest girl-led organizations ever, with 3.4 million members nationwide. I knew I could do it. Do you guys know why? Because girls rule!